let me say good morning, good afternoon, good evening to everyone who is out there. Uh, and uh, thank you for being here to uh, improve your English. I hope that as we talk about accessories, as we talk about wearables, and as we talk about jewelry, um, you just are able to learn a little bit more English uh, and you are able to improve your English. Um, I'm going to go over a few rules in a moment once I do a check to make sure everything is working. Good afternoon, good evening. To it looks like everything is working, so I'm pretty happy. Um, let me just adjust something for one second. This won't just take a moment. Just going to adjust the colors a bit. So accessories, wearables, jewelry. If you remember, we did a lesson on clothing. And during that lesson, I talked about underwear and I was a little bit embarrassed and I shouldn't have been because we all have to wear clothes of all different types. But what I didn't talk about very much in that lesson um, were all the other things that we wear. Um, as human beings, um, we wear many, many things besides clothing. Um, so in this lesson, I want to talk about accessories, all of those extra things that we wear, uh, wearables, which are kind of a new thing that we wear, uh, and jewelry. You'll notice jewelry might not be spelled the way that you think it should be spelled because there's two spellings of it, but I'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, let me double check. Everything seems to be working good. Few rules before we start. Uh, first of all, please keep the chat in English. If you have a question, please use the form uh, to ask the question, which will be linked by Dave or Todd um, and can also be found in the description. Uh, also, I just want to give a shout out and a thank you to all of my loyal subscribers who are here, as well as those who are members of the channel. Uh, both of you are very, very valuable and dear to me. So thank you for being here and learning just a little bit more English. So first of all, we have accessories. So accessories are things like watches, although a watch can also be considered jewelry. So a lot of these um, don't fit in just one category. So sometimes a wearable can also be an accessory and an accessory can also be jewelry. So it kind of depends on I guess how expensive it is and how many gems or jewels are in it. But accessories are things uh, like watches. Maybe you carry a pocket knife. Um, a wearable, now this is a fairly recent and new English word. A wearable is an electronic device, usually a smart device. We usually add the word smart in front of it. Um, and wearables are things like Apple watches, um, I wear something called a Fitbit, which is a fitness tracker. Um, so a wearable, you could say, is an accessory that monitors things or it is an accessory that is smart. So notice again, accessories, wearables, jewelry, they're kind of, it's kind of fluid how you define them. Um, and then I mentioned jewelry. So let's go over the pronunciation and the spelling. Most of the time in Canada, we spell it this way, but we don't pronounce it. We don't pronounce all of the syllables. We say jewelry. So jewelry is how we say it. Um, in other countries, such as the United States, you will see jewelry. Um, and some people also refer to this as bling, although bling is usually jewelry and anything else that you buy and show off so people know you are rich. Bob the Canadian does not have any bling, okay? <laughs> so I don't have a Rolex, I, I don't have a Lamborghini, so bling can also refer to like a really fancy car. So I don't wear chains around my neck. So uh, jewelry is the third item. Um, I'm just gonna jump over and do some questions early to try to keep up. So remember, if you do have questions, uh, you can ask them. Uh, Deekshant says, which one do you prefer? Wristwatch, smartwatch, or fitness band? So I wear a fitness band or what I call a Fitbit. This is the name brand, it is a Fitbit. And what this does is it counts my steps and it monitors my heart rate. So when I look at this on the screen, I can see how many steps I took that day. And then I can also see what my heart rate is at any given time of the day. So I prefer this. This is what I wear almost every day. Uh, let me do another question. Um, 
So this is from Vitaly Svirnov. Hello, Teacher Bob. How are you doing there? What watches do you prefer? Uh, Bruguet or Rolex? I don't even know how to pronounce the first one because I don't buy anything that is very expensive. Um, I think I prefer something cheap and practical, Vitaly. So I'm not someone who spends a lot of money uh, on it. Uh, let me see here. Remember, I will only be answering questions that are related to the topic. Um, so I will skip questions uh, from time to time. Uh, Eugen from Kharkov. Hello, Mr. Bob. I hope you're having a good day. My question is, which accessories do you use every day or almost every day working on your farm? So. When I go out to work or when I work on the farm, I always wear my Fitbit, so my fitness tracker. When I go out, I wear my wedding ring. When I work on the farm, I don't wear my wedding ring. So even though that's more jewelry than accessory, um, it can be dangerous on a farm to wear things like wedding rings because if your finger um, got caught in some machinery, you don't want to have a wedding ring on. Many factory workers as well don't wear their wedding rings when they're at the factory. Uh, and I wear a belt. Um, even though a belt can be considered a clothing item, it can also be considered an accessory. So I wear a belt. So those are the three that I wear. Um, and from time to time, I carry a pocket knife on the farm. The most common accessory would be the watch. We've already mentioned it a few times. Um, whether your watch is uh, like an expensive watch, a luxury watch. So if you buy a watch that costs hundreds or thousands of dollars, you would call it a luxury watch. Uh, and generally, I wear my watch on my left wrist. Most people, I think it depends what hand you use. If you're left-handed, you might wear your watch on your right wrist, but generally I wear it on my left wrist. Although in the summer, sometimes I move it to this wrist because my arm starts to get a suntan and then it's white underneath here. So then I wear it here for a few days uh, just to get a bit of a change. So you wear a watch, uh, and you look at a watch. You don't watch a watch, you look at a watch. Um, watches sometimes have stopwatches on them, so if you go for a run, you can start the stopwatch and time how long you run for. Some of them have timers, so if you are cooking something, you can set the timer on your watch and you can set it to go beep or to go off when it is done. And then watches sometimes also have alarms, so you can set an alarm on a watch to wake you up in the morning. A fitness tracker, like what I was just talking about, a fitness tracker is something that you wear uh, to stay fit. So a fitness tracker will track your steps, it will track your heart rate. Some fitness trackers have GPS built in and GPS will let the fitness tracker know where you are. Um, popular fitness trackers are things like Fitbits. Um, another popular fitness tracker uh, would be something like an Apple Watch. Um, but fitness trackers definitely um, are things that people have been starting to wear a lot more in the last five or ten years. And every year new ones come out that are even better and do more things. So um, I again wear a fitness tracker, it tracks my steps, I try to do 10,000 steps every day and it tracks my heart rate. Um, and then we have something that's called a smartwatch. So, I mentioned that an Apple Watch is a fitness tracker, but it is probably best described as a smartwatch. A smartwatch is a watch that has a computer in it. So instead of a watch like just your normal Rolex or your normal Timex, um, a smartwatch will do many, many more things. It will probably have a calendar. Uh, built in. It will probably have a calculator built in. Um, it might have a planner built in. It might send you reminders when you have things on certain days. And it might even receive text messages for you. So a smartwatch is a watch that is smart. So now, um, and we, that's how we do it. We just add the word smart in front. Um, and then we know that it has a computer inside of it. Um, and we don't call the other watch a dumb watch. It's just a normal watch. Um, let's see here. Let's go to the next one. Um, next question, sorry. Um, let's see. I'm making sure that I am doing only questions 
Dimitri has the next question. Dimitri, hello Bob, what an interesting topic. Have you ever seen a diamond in real life? Um, I have seen diamonds at the jewelry store, um, but that is really the only place I have seen a real diamond. So um, definitely I have seen diamonds in real life. In fact, Canada is a producer of diamonds. Even though most of the diamonds in the world come from different countries in Africa, uh, Canada also produces diamonds. So that's kind of a cool little fact for you. Let's see here, Daniel Morariah has the next question. Morning, Bob, long time, don't see your lives. I hope you're good. I am good, thank you, Daniel. My question is, when the clock is on the wall, it's a clock, but on the pulse, it is a watch, so wrist. So when it is on your wrist, it is a watch. When it's on the wall, my clock's not there right now, it is a clock. Um, so even though you sometimes uh, wouldn't think this, glasses are also considered an accessory. Um, I have reading glasses, in fact, they're right here. So when I need to read a book, I often wear, these are kind of dirty, I need to clean my glasses. Um, when I read a book, I often have reading glasses that I will wear. Um, some people have glasses not just for reading, but they wear them all the time. Um, and you have basic glasses, but sometimes people spend money for really, really expensive glasses because they want to be fashionable. So sometimes you have a pair of glasses that you just buy. Um, I usually buy the cheapest ones, but sometimes you buy glasses that are made by a manufacturer that charges a lot of money because they are fashionable. And again, um, if you only wear glasses for reading, you would call them reading glasses. So when I read a book, uh, before I read my book, you'll often hear me say, has anyone seen my reading glasses? Uh, because I usually set them down somewhere silly and then I can't find them. Um, we also have, of course, sunglasses, which are a true accessory. Um, sunglasses are something you wear because the sun is very bright. Uh, so we also call them shades. So that is kind of the informal or slang word for sunglasses. Like, I like to wear shades when it's sunny outside. I like to wear sunglasses when it is sunny outside. So earlier I was asked, what accessories do I wear on the farm? I definitely wear sunglasses on the farm. I'm often wearing sunglasses, um, not just to block out the sun, but just for safety, because having sunglasses in front of your eyes can protect your eyes when you are working as well. So, sunglasses or shades, and then, these are not worn. <laughs> Norma says, I hate glasses. I am wearing them since I was 15. I'm sorry about that, Norma. Um, I actually like my glasses, but I don't have to wear them all the time. So, um, but my kids, some of my kids wear glasses and it's quite expensive. Vitaly was asking if I, uh, if I actually secretly own a Rolex and a Lamborghini, but um, Vitaly, when you have five kids, all your money, goes for food, all your money goes for glasses, all your money goes for things for the kids. Um, we also have smart glasses. Now these are relatively new. You will not see very many people wearing these, um, but as we progress towards the future, you will probably uh, see more and more people wearing some kind of smart glasses. So this would be a pair of glasses that has a viewfinder or a screen built in that goes in front of your eye. Um, and we would call them smart glasses. So notice again, we have smart watches and we have smart glasses. We just add the word smart in front. Uh, let me jump over to the questions again. Let me clean up some of the questions. Again, I do want to mention that I only answer the questions that are related to the topic. Um, so, um, if I do skip your question, it might be because it wasn't related to the topic of accessories and jewelry and um, wearables. Uh, Ruslan, hello teacher Bob. It's nice to see you again. Do, so I'm gonna correct this a bit, Ruslan. Do the men use cuff links for fastening a shirt cuff in the past in Canada? Oh, did the men, you had it correct and I messed it up. Did the men use cuff links for fastening a shirt cuff in the past in Canada? They were very popular in Russia in the 80s. So our, the cuff of a long sleeve shirt has a button, but a long time ago it just had two holes and you would wear something called a cuff link. You can still buy very expensive shirts and you can still wear cuff links, 
Cufflinks are a very cool jewelry item or accessory um, that you wear with a long sleeve shirt. Um, generally, if you wear a tuxedo, you can rent a tuxedo, which is a very fancy suit, and you will still be able to wear cufflinks if you want. And some men do still wear cufflinks. Um, it's rare, but um, I think you're correct. A long time ago, many men wore cufflinks for sure. Uh, let me get to the next question here. It's from Ario. I'll paste it in. Ario says, Hola, how are you? I'm doing well, Ario. Thanks. Uh, let's see here. Um, next question, Farm Dog Thunderstone. I notice you maybe have two wedding rings, one with a diamond and another just silver, isn't it? So men usually wear a single wedding band. So we call this a wedding ring or a wedding band. Uh, women generally wear a wedding ring, but they also wear an engagement ring, which sometimes has a gemstone of some type or a diamond in it, okay? But men generally will just wear a gold band or in my case, a band that has a very tiny amount of gold in it. <laughs> I'm not sure how many carat gold this is, but this was not an expensive wedding ring. Um, let's go to the next question. Um, Tatev, do you think jewelry should be passed down from one generation to the next? Yes, as long as people don't fight about it. I find that uh, sometimes when parents get old, and then when they pass away, when they die, they leave things for their children. But sometimes the adult children get into fights because when one person gets one item, the other person thinks they should have gotten it. Um, so uh, I do agree, jewelry, it's nice if it gets handed down as long as people don't fight over it. Um, I don't like it when people fight. It's not my... Um, favorite thing. Uh, let's see here. Next question is from Ari Debson and Luciana. We love you, Bob. Thank you very much. Tell us more about, about car belt and clothes belt. The difference in English, please. So like I wear a belt on my pants. I put it through my belt loops and then I buckle up my belt. That's how you talk about a belt. A car engine though has a belt as well. It has many belts. Um, it has a fan belt. It has a belt that runs the alternator. Um, so we use the same word, but they're obviously very different things. Um, a wallet. So a common accessory is a wallet. Um, and, uh, oh, I think I messed up. No, this is good. I'm not sure what country this is from, by the way. You're gonna have to tell me what kind of money that is. So um, um, a wallet is something that you use to keep your money in, although nowadays most people don't carry money. I personally rarely have money with me, but I usually do have my phone and my bank cards with me. Um, so in Canada, when you buy something, you can still pay cash this is not Canadian money, by the way. Um, but most people use their bank card or their phone to make purchases now. So, uh, but an accessory you could have is a wallet. It might be made out of leather. It might be made out of a different kind of fabric, um, but many people will carry a wallet. Um, and there's a couple different kinds of wallets. Um, men and women do carry wallets. Um, and I think this picture was supposed to be on the previous uh, one. So let me just put this here like this. This is a wallet that would typically be carried by a man. Uh, and this is a wallet that would typically be carried by a woman. Okay. So slightly different wallets, um, for slightly different reasons. We also have a new, so just ignore this picture. Now we have a new kind of wallet called a slim wallet or a thin wallet. And this type of wallet has become popular because of exactly what I just said. Most people only carry a few cards with them and rarely carry cash anymore. It's very rare for people to carry cash in Canada. Um, we do, and you could still use cash to buy things. So cash would be actually carrying money with you, but more often people just use their cards. So a slim wallet or thin wallet, has become popular because if you only need to carry your bank card and your driver's license and one or two other cards, you don't really need a big wallet anymore. So a slim wallet has become popular. Um, 
Uh, generally, women will carry a purse, although not all women carry a purse. Um, some men will carry a purse as well, but we usually call it a man bag or a handbag or just a bag. Um, some people call it a purse, I think, but don't quote me on that. Um, but a purse is a small bag that women carry so that they can uh, carry money and other items around with them. And if it is a lot bigger, they will carry a handbag or we will call it, we would call it a handbag. So a purse, if you need to know the difference, a purse is a small uh, handbag that women carry and a handbag is a lot bigger. Um, generally though, um, when we go out, um, generally I take my wallet and Jen takes her purse and she has her wallet in her purse. Um, so anyways, I, I hope I'm making sense on all that. Um, sorry, I'm a little bit distracted this morning. I'm not sure why, but I will try to stay focused for you. Um, I think there's too many things going on. I was worried the live stream wouldn't work. Um, and I'm trying a couple things that are a little different right now. And the birds are singing really loudly outside. And there's a moth inside of my light. I'll tell you what a moth is. Uh, you'll have to look that up, actually. A moth is a a small insect that flies. So that is distracting me a bit. Anyways, I should pause for a moment though and just say, if you are new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button over there. Give me a thumbs up if this video is helping you learn some English. Um, and then another thing I wanna say is thank you so much to those who are members of my channel. If you would like to support me and the work that I do, if you appreciate the work I do and you can afford it, please consider clicking the join button below and supporting my channel. I do really appreciate all of my members. If you see all the people whose names are in green, uh, you will see that they are members of the channel. So thank you. And if you hover on the crown, you can see how long they've been a member for. Annette from Quebec. Hi, Teacher Bob. I hope all is okay for you there in Ontario. What do you think about jewelry for men? So. I don't often wear jewelry. In fact, I don't wear jewelry anymore besides a watch, but I will tell you a few things. I tried to wear a necklace or what men usually call a chain um, when I was a lot younger. Um, so I wore a gold chain and a silver chain for a little bit, but I didn't like how it felt. I wasn't comfortable when I wore it. Um, and then I also at one point considered, some men will have, um, a pierced ear. I considered it, but I, I, I'm just not, I'm not a jewelry person. So um, ring, uh, wedding ring, uh, and Fitbit, that's about all that I can handle. So I think when I have something on me, it just doesn't feel comfortable. So some people love jewelry, some men love wearing jewelry, um, but I do not. Jason, hi Bob, what's your favorite brand of watch? I had a Timex watch when I was younger, before I got my Fitbit, I actually had a Timex watch and it was an Iron Man. So it had a stopwatch built in, it had a timer built in. It was a really fun and cool watch. So that would be my favorite brand of watch. Um, Nyan says, hi Bob, I rarely see you wear glasses. Your eyesight is really good. So my day to day eyesight is really good. But when I read a book, I do need to wear reading glasses. So these are my reading glasses. Sometimes when I have to work on the computer for a long time, I will also wear my reading glasses. Um, but generally, yes, I have pretty good eyesight. There's many other things wrong with me, but I do have good eyesight. So I am thankful for that. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Salah Abid, is removing the ring from the hand a sign of your culture? Can you get rid of it if you wish without being dressed in its place? I'm not quite sure what you mean, but generally if you are married, you do wear your wedding ring, okay? Most married people wear their wedding rings almost all the time, unless they are working somewhere where it's dangerous to have a ring on. Uh, let's see, next question, Brent. Um, has the next question. Brent from the US, do you use the term push present or push gift in Canada? Dads give the mom presents, jewelry, for having the baby. So we don't call them that, but we definitely do give gifts uh, when babies are born. So husbands generally do buy a gift for their wife and for the new baby when a baby is born. So you'll usually buy your wife something very nice. 
It could be something as simple as a piece of jewelry. Um, and usually for the child, for the new baby, you will buy something like a stuffed animal or a toy that's appropriate for a baby. Um, some people carry a pocket knife. This is a Swiss army knife. I have a Swiss army knife that I usually carry with me. So it is a knife with a very small blade and other tools that you can use if you need to fix something. A pocket knife is very handy if you are on a farm like me. So it has a small screwdriver. This picture, oh yeah, here it is, a small screwdriver. So if you need to fix something quick, or turn in a screw. Um, it has a wine bottle opener. I don't use that one very often. <laughs> um, and it has other things that you can use. So a pocket knife um, is something that some people carry. Now you need to be careful because depending on how long the blade is, it might be illegal in Canada. So you can have a small pocket knife that is allowed, but you can't have a big knife in your pocket. Um, headphones. Even though headphones are really an electronic device, they are also now considered a wearable or an accessory. In fact, people have started to buy more and more expensive headphones. Um, and if you are really wealthy, you buy the most expensive headphones you can so people can see how rich you are. I, I would never do that. So Vitaly, I'll tell you this, even if I had enough money for a Rolex and a Lamborghini and a thousand dollar headphones, I wouldn't buy them because I'm too cheap. I would probably donate my money to a good cause. But again, I don't have a lot of money. But headphones are a new type of accessory or wearable in the last 30 years. Um, and they are something that um, people, you will see people wear quite often. Um, we also have earbuds. And if you buy them from Apple, they are called AirPods. And these have become extremely popular in the last little while. Um, AirPods and earbuds are just small things you put in your ear when you want to listen to music. Um, but definitely uh, this is something as well that it is a practical device for listening to music but it has also become a fashion accessory. So some people buy the most expensive AirPods because they want people to know that they are rich. So again, I, I actually don't own any AirPods, but some people do buy them. Hey, we're on to jewelry. Um, let me just check something here. Uh, looks like things are working good. Um, by the way, I'm actually done all the questions. So if you do have a question, now is a great time to ask it. Um, I will probably answer it uh, right away in the next round of questions. Um, earrings. So both men and women sometimes get their ears pierced. So that is how you talk about when you get a hole put in your ear so that you can wear jewelry like earrings. Um, sometimes uh, kids as young as 12 or 13 will get their ears pierced, some even younger. Um, some parents will have their daughter's ears pierced when they are three or four or five. They'll have them pierced when they are very, very young. Um, and then once your ear is pierced, you can wear earrings. Um, it's a th something that you just have done at the jewelry store. So when my daughter wanted her ears pierced, we went to the jewelry store and they put a hole in each ear and now she can wear earrings. Some women have their ears double pierced so that they can wear two earrings. Uh, and again, men do also get their ears pierced, sometimes just one ear, sometimes both ears. Um, but earrings, um, before you can wear them, you do need to get your ears pierced. Um, many people will wear a necklace. So a necklace is a very common jewelry item. Um, a necklace is usually made out of gold or silver, but it can also be made out of leather or other things. The necklace may or may not have jewels on it. So it might be a diamond necklace, necklace. it might have a ruby, it might have some type of gem in it. So a gem is a precious stone, um, but a necklace is something that some people wear. It is a very, very common um, jewelry item. Probably earrings and necklaces are the most common. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. At the end of a necklace, you can have a couple of things. You can have a pendant. So a pendant is anything that hangs from the bottom of a necklace. So you could just wear a necklace by itself, 
but the necklace might also have a pendant at the bottom. So this one has a very nice, um, it looks like a giant diamond or something, but uh, it has a pendant and a necklace as well. Sometimes we'll have a locket at the bottom. A locket is a piece of jewelry um, that usually opens and you can put a small picture inside or some other memorabilia or something to remember someone. So sometimes people will wear a necklace with a locket and inside the locket, uh, they will have a picture of their grandmother or a picture of their boyfriend or husband, um, but a locket is usually a small thing, often shaped like a heart. Not always, but often shaped like a heart. Um, so folks, I'm just gonna make a small change here for a moment, give me a second. Um, I do want to take a minute to just thank all of the people who are members of my channel. I do want to say thank you for clicking that join button and for supporting me in the work I do to make English lessons for all of you. I have now switched the chat to members only. We'll leave it there for about 10 minutes or so. So members, if you have questions, um, you can ask them directly in the chat. We will switch the chat back to be open for everyone uh, in just a few minutes. But thank you again. If you are someone who helps to support my channel, I really appreciate it, okay? It's very, very helpful for me. Um, one of the things I do use the money for is to pay for my internet connection on the farm, which, which didn't work last week. So I was upset uh, and you should all have been upset because I feel like I would really like it if it just worked all the time. So anyways, if you are interested in becoming a member, there is a join button below um, and I'm going to put a link in the chat as well. Uh, let's continue though with the lesson. A bracelet is something that you wear on your wrist. So a bracelet is something you wear on your wrist. And once again, a bracelet can be made out of gold or silver or any kind of metal. Sometimes it is made of leather. Sometimes it is even made of plastic. But a bracelet is a piece of jewelry that you wear on your wrist. Um, probably the third most common. I don't know where I'm getting this information from. I didn't actually look up what the most common kinds of jewelry are. But uh, definitely a necklace, a bracelet, and earrings are very common things for people to wear as jewelry. Uh, let's see here. Um, English Danny says, we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Alina says, Teacher Bob, what do you prefer, regular tie or bow tie? I don't like wearing ties, but when I wear a tie, I wear a regular long tie. Maybe I should think about wearing a bow tie. Maybe that would be nicer. I don't like, so you know how I said I don't like wearing a necklace? I also don't like wearing a tie because um, I feel like everything's, I like, I like it when my, uh, when I can breathe. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Vitaly, is Nightbot a member? Uh, <laughs> Nightbot is just a piece of software that helps Dave and Todd and myself run the chat. So that's all Nightbot is. We tell Nightbot what to say and Nightbot keeps an eye on things as well, Vitaly. I think you knew that, but just so you know. Um, let's see here. Uh, Brent from American English with this guy. Every time I hear the word locket, I think of the movie Annie. I, was a good, I have not watched that movie in a long time. I should watch it again. Um, let's see here. Jonathan Morez. Will there be a lesson using the tools on the farm? So a little change there. Um, maybe, Jonathan, although I'm not sure how popular it would be. But I will consider doing uh, a lesson like that sometime. Uh, let's see here. America, Brent says, yeah, Nightbot doesn't have a crown. So poor Nightbot. He has no money. Lolly Lolly. Bonjour, Bob. Bob has a beard or Bob wears a beard. What's the most common way of saying that? So I have a beard. Okay. Um, you could say I'm sporting a beard and a mustache. That would be like an informal way to say it. Um, but usually we just say, oh, does he have a beard? Yes, he has a beard. Does he have a mustache? Yes, he has a much mustache. Let's see here. Um, a ring. So this is, again, I'm trying to say everything's the most common kind of jewelry, but it can't all be the most common. A ring is another co very common type of jewelry. A ring is worn on any finger. Wedding rings or wedding bands are usually worn on the ring finger, um, but you can wear rings on any finger. And some people wear rings on their toes as well. Um, but uh, definitely a ring, again, can be made of gold or silver or just any other kind of metal. There are very common kinds of metal. Um, and people do wear rings. So people wear rings 
just as a fashion accessory, just to look good. Um, people sometimes wear a ring from their school. So when you graduate from university, especially in the United States and Canada, you can get a ring that says that that's where you graduated from. If your team wins the Super Bowl, if you watch American football, you get a championship ring. So you get a ring you can wear because your team won the championship. So rings are used not just as jewelry, but to um, remember things as memorabilia. Let's see here. Wristband, is it the same as a bracelet? No, a wristband is more something that you wear when you work out. You'll see someone wear a wristband, so if they sweat a lot, it doesn't go down their hands. Um, so definitely not the same Panthera. Uh, let's see here. Um, Ebert Castillo, hi teacher Bob, I'm Peru. My question is, does your wife wear a bracelet? No, Jen does not wear a lot of jewelry, especially on the farm. Um, and she does wear some jewelry when we go out. Not a bracelet though, but usually a necklace uh, and earrings. Let's see here. Uh, Brent says, beard and port are the same in French, right? Um, and then Panthera says, like the one we get on festivals that we can wear to enter the concert. Oh, you could call that a bracelet. When you go to a, a concert, you often get a wristband. Um, so yes, yeah, sorry, I was, I was thinking of the other kind that you wear when you're working out. But yes, when you go see a concert, you sometimes, when you pay and you give your ticket, you get a wristband so that you can go in and out of the concert. So we, you could call it a bracelet, but we usually call that a wristband. Uh, lolly lolly, merci Bob, pas, pas de problème. Teacher Bob, how about cufflinks? Do men still use them when wearing a suit? That's from Alina. Sometimes. If I was to wear a really, really expensive fancy suit, I might choose to wear cufflinks with it. Generally though, men in North America don't wear cufflinks. Um, like a normal suit just has buttons on the wrist. Um, Vitaly says, my precious. So if any of you have read The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings, you might recognize where that comes from. Um, there's a ring in The Lord of the Rings. That's why it's called The Lord of the Rings, which gives people power, evil power though. Let's see. Yeah, one, one ring to rule them all, yes. And Vitaly says, what's the pronunciation difference between bald and bold? So when you're bald, you have no hair. When you're bold, it means you're courageous and you are not afraid. So that is the difference between the two. Um, I'm gonna grab a question from the chat and then we'll continue the lesson. Ilian Santos, what is it called? The glasses you have to wear due to eyesight issues. I mean, when we are not talking about sunglasses. We just call them glasses or prescription glasses. So prescription glasses are the glasses you buy when the eye doctor says that you need glasses. So you get an eye test and then the eye doctor writes you a prescription or sells you the glasses. Most eye doctors sell glasses as well, but we would call them glasses or prescription glasses. That would be the two names. Um, let's see here. Pavel, not about, this is kind of an accessory, but not really. Pavel from East Europe, you have a flower farm. There's a lot of snow in Canada. Why don't you have a Jeep? Well, I used to have a Pathfinder, which was four wheel drive and I miss it. But yes, as I mentioned, my kids use all my money, so I can't buy, I can't buy fun things. Abel, are the ear pods a small earphones, right? They are the same? Yes, so ear pod, or sorry, earbuds and AirPods. Um, some have a wire and some don't, some are wireless, are definitely the same. They're basically things you use to listen to music. Let's see. Um, this is a good question. Cristiano Winter. Hi, Bob. How are you doing? Should I always use the preposition on when I'm talking about accessories? So I have a Fitbit on my wrist. Um, if I was wearing a necklace, I would say I have a necklace around my neck. I have a bracelet on my wrist. I have a ring on my finger. So mostly yes, for sure. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to jump back. Teacher Bob owns a Lambo. So Vitaly's theory is that I have a Lamborghini. Although I don't think I could drive a Lamborghini down my driveway because it's so bumpy. I think it would bottom out, Vitaly. When the car bottoms out, it means the bottom of the car hits the ground. Uh, Isabel, hello, teacher Bob. In Canada, is it common for women to use neck scarves? Yes, it actually is very common. And I'm glad you brought that up. So a scarf, um, I put it in the lesson on clothing 
but a scarf that you wear around the neck can also be considered an accessory. So uh, some women in Canada definitely do wear scarves as a fashion accessory. So they'll buy a scarf or a bunch of scarves that in a color they like and they'll definitely wear scarves more of course in the fall, winter and spring than in the summer. Uh, let's see here. Do you guys use the word bandana for covering the top of your head like the pirates did? Um, yeah, some people wear a bandana. Um, it has another name and I can't think of it right now. Um, but yes, people do sometimes wear a piece of cloth on their head and they would call it a bandana. Yes, and just like what pirates did. Um, did you know that Lambo was a tractor? I did know that, Vitaly. I, I didn't remember it just now till you mentioned it, but yes, you can actually buy uh, Lamborghini tractors. Um, um, that, that was cool. That's a cool part of history. Um, I always say earbuds and ear pods just to frustrate my teenage students and own children. A bad dad joke. So what Brent's talking about there is dads around the world are known for telling really bad jokes. So Brent intentionally uses the wrong word um, so that their, his uh, own children and teenagers he knows will get annoyed with him. Uh, Alina, I used to wear a bandana when I listened to metal music. Oh yes, people who listen to metal often wear bandanas and they sometimes have lots of piercings, but we'll get to that in a sec. Actually, it's the next. This ties in nicely. Um, so we talked about getting your ears pierced. When you get your ears pierced, you can wear earrings, um, but people sometimes get their nose pierced. They get their belly button pierced. They get strange things pierced. Um, if you are someone who likes metal music, heavy metal music, you're probably more likely to have tattoos. Tattoos are when you get ink done on your arm. Uh, or you're more likely to have a lot of piercings. You might have a whole lot of earrings. You might have a nose piercing. Um, and again, other parts of the body, which I won't mention. But piercings are things that people get so that they can wear different types of jewelry. So you would go and get your nose pierced, you would go and get your ears pierced, and etc., etc. So that is called a piercing, and that is how we refer to it. We would say, wow, he has a lot of piercings, or did you hear that she went and got another piercing? Oh, where? Um, a bracelet that you wear on your ankle is called an anklet. So you have an anklet. Um, this came up in the last lesson. Uh, someone asked, when we did the lesson on clothing, do people still wear suspenders? So again, sometimes people wear suspenders. They are actually a little more popular right now. Um, we have a style or a way of dressing called a hipster style. If you're a hipster, you generally wear older clothes and you might wear suspenders if you are a hipster. Um, you'll have to look up the word hipster. Maybe Brent from American English with this guy can explain what hipsters are. Um, Thanks, uh, gas for your Lambo. Thanks, English Danny. Um, American English, I like these bad dad jokes. They're cute. Yes, they are funny. Um, dad joke. I love dad jokes, by the way. Um, let's see. My dad jokes make all the kids cringe. Cool. Um, I like the music a lot. Just already many other genres. So I've been listening to Frog Leap Studios on YouTube. That is a guy uh, who makes metal covers of popular songs. So go to Frog Leap Studios. It's a great channel. Uh, let's see here. Um, Samuel has the next question. How are you? I really admire and respect the way you treat money. Jewelry sometimes is not as shining as the kind heart. Yeah, it, it depends on your stage in life. When I was younger, I valued money and jewelry a lot more. Now I just like being healthy. Vitaly, do you have a piercing? I used to have an earring, but I don't anymore. So I have one piercing, but the hole has closed up in my ear. Uh, let's see here. Um, Let's see, American English, this guy, a lovely boomer way. Do your kids have piercings? So my daughters have earrings. Yes, they have piercings. So, but none of my kids have piercings on any other part of their body. Uh, let's see here. Um, Panthera's done her meeting. Awesome. And then I just want to back up. Thank English Danny for the super chat. Thank you. Uh, thank Vitaly for the super chat. Uh, and thank you to Sergio um, for joining and becoming a member of the channel. I do really appreciate that. Um, I'm just going to go back here for a moment and uh, I'm going to, um, I think I'm clicking on all the wrong stuff. I am just going to go and switch the chat back to normal chat and we will finish off this lesson. So 
if you go to a convention or a workshop or maybe a concert, you might get a lanyard. So a lanyard is something that you wear. It usually has information about who you are. So every year I go to a convention for teachers and at that convention, I go to several workshops. When I go to the teacher's convention, they give me a lanyard with my name on it. You might go to conventions for your job. Maybe you are a real estate agent, maybe you sell houses, and once a year you go to a realtor's convention. Maybe you are a teacher and you go to a teacher's convention. But when you go, you usually are given a lanyard and you use that lanyard, you wear that for the day and it says who you are. If you go to a concert, you might get a lanyard and it might let you get uh, backstage. You might get a backstage pass on the lanyard. Um, you might wear a pin. So a pin is a small item. Sometimes it has a flag on it. Sometimes it has a heart or another symbol, but a pin is a small piece of jewelry uh, that people wear and it usually is related to something they like or enjoy. And some people wear buttons. Sometimes the button says, vote for me. Sometimes the button says, Canada is beautiful. But a button is just something that you wear to uh, show off a place that you went or a place that you love or to communicate a message you want people to hear. And some people wear what's called a medical alert bracelet. So if you have an allergy, let's say you're allergic to penicillin, or let's say you have a heart condition, I should get one of these. Maybe you are diabetic, maybe you have to take insulin. You might wear a medic alert bracelet or a medical alert bracelet. And on the back, if you flip it, it will have your name and your medical condition. So this is very common in North America. I'm not sure if it's common around the world, but definitely uh, people will wear medical alert bracelets. Hey, let me jump over and see what we have for questions. Um, next one is from Anna Maria. Hi, teacher Bob. I love your classes. Thanks, Anna. I'm Brazilian, but living in Abu Dhabi. Nowadays, girls are wearing little crowns on their heads and sometimes headbands with flowers. Oh, that's very cool. So a small crown can be called a tiara. It can be called a small crown. Um, I did forget to mention that um, sometimes girls will, will wear headbands or they'll wear, or they'll wear um, um, like, uh, this is where Bob the Canadian <laughs> doesn't know all the words. I would need to ask my daughters, but they wear little clips in their hair. They wear little um, different things in their hair and I can't remember the names. Sorry about that. I should have done some research on it. Um, I don't wear anything in my hair, so sorry, I don't know all the names. Um, so the next question is from Park from Beijing. Could you tell me how can I say someone wear, so you would say they have a tattoo, okay? So Joe has a tattoo. Um, Megan has three tattoos. Jimmy has three tattoos. So you just say you have a tattoo. Um, and then you can sometimes say what what is the tattoo of? What is, so you wanna know like, is it a tattoo of their favorite rock band? Is it just a big um, anchor because they're a sailor? Sorry, that's the traditional tattoo for sailors. Um, Norma has the next question. Norma says, keychains can be a nice accessory too, I think. Yes, there are different types of ways to carry your keys and you can put them on a keychain. Some people have an actual chain. Some people just have all their keys on a nice ring and then they'll have something attached as well uh, to that. Um, let's see here, Natalia. Oh, I forgot this one. Do you wear gloves and masks in Canada because of the virus? We should do it even while going for a walk. Yes, we are now starting to wear gloves and masks everywhere we go in Canada. So a mask is another accessory, which I forgot to talk about. Um, and gloves are a clothing item, but can also be considered an accessory. Um, so you notice how, like I said at the beginning, it's kind of fluid, right? Uh, let's see here. Um, Riza has the next question. Riza says, hi, teacher Bob. How often do you drink? It's interesting to know your opinion on drinking. So I don't drink alcoholic beverages very often. It is rare for me to drink beer and I don't drink. I'm not against drinking. Um, and I know some people don't like drinking, um, but I, I, maybe I have one beer a month. I'm not someone who drinks a lot because I can't have caffeine 
or alcohol because of my heart, but also I'm just not someone who drinks very much. So, um, Sharef has the last question. Surprising. How can we memorize all these things? Use them a lot. Write them all down. Try to use every single word that I use today in a sentence. If you listen to this episode again tomorrow, try to repeat the things that I have said. So speaking of that, tomorrow, if you watch this again, there will be English subtitles that you can turn on to help you understand certain sections. I do want to, once again want to just give a shout out to all of my members. Thank you so much for clicking that join button and supporting my channel. If you are new here, please hit the subscribe button. Specifically, I want to thank English Danny and Learn English with Brent, or sorry, uh, American English with this guy whose name is Brent, uh, for just being in the chat and helping uh, people understand some things. I want to thank all of my subscribers. I want to thank Gaga and Deek Shanch and all the regulars. Um, I shouldn't start saying names because then I forget to mention some people. And I specifically want to thank Dave and Todd uh, for helping in the chat. Anyways, as you can tell, this lesson is pretty much over. Um, I think it went pretty well. I'm glad we didn't have any technical problems. We will be having another lesson tomorrow. I'm crossing my fingers that everything will work well tomorrow. Um, but thank you so much for being here. Have a great day. I'm going to push the stop button now.